you know, we, we've been together now for about a year and a half, and uh, this is the first time it was it was like this. Um, I'm obviously very, very disappointed. Um, I, I would be remiss if I did not give a ton of credit to, to Coach Signetti, what he's done, the way that they play, um, offense, defense, and special teams. Um, just, just a lot, a lot of credit. And, uh, you know, on our end, um, as I just told the guys in there, you know, this, this happened on my watch, you know. And I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't see this coming. I thought we were going to play great. I thought we were going to play great. And uh, they exploited a lot of things uh, on us. We had some opportunities, you know. Um, we start with the ball on the two-yard line. You know, we have a couple chances to get off the, first, off the field on the first, first, on the first drive. We can't make those plays. A chance to get off the field. Uh, we have a chance to answer. We step out of bounds at the two. Um, you know, we fumble the ball in the red zone. And, uh, but at the end of the day, just, just couldn't really tackle the back today. Couldn't stop the run. Um, and uh, they made a lot of big plays in the, in the vertical passing game. And uh, this was just was bad football by us. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not embarrassed of our players, but I'm embarrassed of the job that I did, you know, to get our team ready. I have to do a better job next week and the weeks after. Um, I didn't sense any quit in the guys. Probably could have kept the score down by maybe punting, you know, a couple of those fourth downs or not throwing in, just kind of seeding the game. But that was really important for our team as they went through this, um, that we, uh, we continue to try to attack. And um, there's a bunch of young players, you know, the Dillons of the world. I want them to have those those throws, those opportunities, and uh, um, try to fight back. And uh, we just weren't able to just weren't able to really get anything done on all, all three sides of the ball today. So very, very, very disappointing. I appreciate all the fans that came here. I appreciate everyone that supports us. And um, you know this uh, this uh, this was this was certainly 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 not good enough by any stretch. And for that, I'm sorry. Questions? You, you mentioned that they exploited. So what are the things they exploited? And maybe how did they find those things? Well, um, you know, they they put us in a run pass bind with their RPO game and a couple of the big plays. Um, you know, uh, they um, they attacked us in man with some with some crack screens, which is the same stuff we do, and they just, they blocked this well on the perimeter. Um, I felt like a lot of it, to be quite honest with you, Sam, was just we didn't tackle real well. You know, I mean, they were, they were, they were finding seams and missing tackles, and even, you know, it might seem like a little thing now and then, but all of a sudden you're in, you know, instead of being in second and seven, you're in first and ten again, and they just stay on the field, and so, um, and I think, I think, you know, they, they threw the ball up, and they went up and got the ball, and, uh, and that makes it hard for Tony as he's trying to play some man, you know, to, to, to and then we just were never quite able to get home. Even when we got home a couple times, we couldn't quite sack the quarterback. So, um, um, yeah, just, just didn't really make a play to get off the field. You know, I mean, Malcolm made the one play before the half. We jumped up and knocked away the post. And that was really the only one that we had. So I haven't seen a day like that defensively. Even if you go back to Michigan for us last year, <coughs> you know, that, obviously that game got away from us. But it was never, never a day where we just couldn't get a stop. Um, I think we don't think we used the punt return team until the, until the fourth quarter. We had to one stop on fourth down. But, um, you know they were they, they played fast they played with, they played decisively their backs ran hard and we didn't tackle them. Can you expand on, on what you mean by or, or what you saw from their effort? You mentioned you saw no quit in them. What what, what did you see as, as things got out of hand? Uh, well, I mean I think I think uh, you know, it was twenty eight it was a twenty eight seven you know coming out of the half and we drove the ball down. You know they throw the, we throw the you know things come out of order in my brain right but you know thinking back. But, Throw the pick on fourth down, right? And that runs down there. Um, you know, I'm just saying. I, you know, I've been a part of. I've been a part of some bad teams where guys are on the sides throwing their helmets and quitting. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that. I saw guys wanting to continue to play. As we got into the fourth, you know, that game was decided, which is disappointing. So we played some of the young players, and they made some mistakes. But you know, I think it was three interceptions, maybe four, you know, in the second half, three, and um, you know, which led to which led to touchdowns by them. So um, you know, I just I do believe with all my heart. This, this, I believe that in games like this, there's a ton of lessons and a ton of opportunities. And so, you know, getting getting out there offensively and trying to drive the ball, or defensively, you know, playing some of the young players, you know, you give guys a chance to get reps, you know, versus a really good team. And, and uh, but I, I just think that I felt I thought they had our number today. You know, and that's what that's the part that really infuriates me as the head coach. I don't know, you know, people are going to point at this person, point at that, point, point, everything should be pointed right at me. You know, that uh, I usually can see things coming. I, I'll tell you right now, I did not see this coming. So, credit to them. I don't want to take any away from them. They are an excellent football team. But, um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I, I did not see this coming. What's your biggest concern right now on offense? Did you miss, is it, what, what would you say? Um, 
Talking about today during the game today, or I, I'm not probably today I, and in totality. I probably I'm probably not in the right mind frame to do like a big picture thing. I'll, you know, I'll be happy to answer that probably on Monday. Like, you know, okay, okay. I think they really you know. Just I'm still so in the moment here today. Um, I think the biggest thing today, uh, Sip, is that there's nothing like there's nothing that's happening that's like easy and routine. Like, you know, you're you got a one on one, you're throwing a bubble out there, and and and, and we're catching it, and they're, they're running for 20 yards in the same play, and we're getting tackled for no gain. Um, you know, it's one thing when, like, you know, if you're throwing that into, like, you know, bad coverages, you know, and you're yelling at the coaches, and, you know, it's just, it's just in general, right? And so I'm not, I'm not putting that on the players. I'm not putting that on anybody. It's just um, even when you think you have a, a big, a good play, like a big play, it's just not quite clicking. And, and um, you know, we wanted to play that game differently. Our hope today was to come out. You know, they're a pass rushing group. We wanted to get in big people. We wanted to run the ball. We wanted to play action. We wanted to be violent. You know, we, we, we kind of had that when we ran the ball uh, on that one drive that fumbled the ball in the red zone, right? Then we came back and, and we did some different things and, and scored, make it 14-7. And then kind of as it got away from us, you know, it just was like, hey, let's go to we have to go more of a drop back to get back in the game. And uh, I don't know that we're going to win, you know, just dropping back and throwing it every play. You know, we need, we need a run game to go with it. And, uh, you know, so, so in general, um, I think as a score got away from us, we got away from kind of the game plan offensively. But nothing that's happened, you know, you kind of kind of throw a ball out there and it's one on one, and you're hoping someone steps out of it. We're just not quite stepping out of it. And I'm not throwing that on the guys. Mm -hmm. I've got to find better ways to. I've got to find better ways to get our guys to to make that play. You know, we made some great catches. You know, Valen catches the ball, puts his hand on the ground. But the run after catch, explosive type plays, we're kind of always getting tackled and having to snap it again. Yep. And um, you know. You, you like the 80 yard run, you like the 40 yard play. So I think I think that's what I saw today. And uh, as we move forward, I'd be happy to talk. You know, I can think through what I just want to say something that's, you know, a couple more. I know, it's standard. Standard. I know it's standard for you to defer at the beginning of games if you guys win the coin toss. Did you consider taking the ball to try to get a lead on Indiana right away? And, and how, obviously, it didn't play out the way you hoped, but, but what was the thought process in choosing to defer? Yeah, we always defer, um, and, and you know, we trust our defense, right? We have a pretty darn good defense. You know, we thought we were going to play great defense today. You know, sometimes I'll take the ball when the win's a factor. Uh, but if you look at most of the games that they've played, it's been a one-score game going into the fourth quarter. I mean, this is the first time, other than we, that they've just done that to somebody. Like, they were clicking on all cylinders, and we were not. And so that's why I say, you know, I, 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 I look back at what else can I look at but me. Um, you know, but uh, but that that's why I just thought like, hey, you know, and again we we stop, we had them stop, they make the first down, right? We have them th second and whatever, they they check the ball down, third down, they, so they had some opportunities for both drives that they scored early on to get off the field. I thought we'd be better on third down. I thought we'd match up well um, in third down. We we didn't quite make any plays in coverage, you know, today that we needed to make. What are the challenges now of just moving on from this? Because obviously you're, you're going to play a team with perceptually more talent next weekend on the road at Ohio State. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, um, I just think that our guys are going to bounce back, you know. Um, I've never doubted the character of those guys. Um, this like, this was not a day they where they didn't come out and try. This wasn't a week where they didn't practice. That's what, that's what, that's what hurts me about it, right? Like, I'm telling you that I believe that we're going to play great, just based on everything I've seen. And so uh, we got a lot of guys in that room who love Nebraska and they're resilient. And um, they want to battle, and so um, you know, as a team, we have some things that we're you know good at. We have some things that we're not quite good enough at yet that we're working through. And this team, this team took advantage of some of those things, and so um, they'll, they'll come back and they'll fight. I, I, I have no doubt that we'll fight all five games. The days of like a big disappointing loss, setting us on a run, you know, we're going to play each game. If, if, if the team's better than us, they're better than us. Um, you know, but I, I know those guys. They'll, they'll battle. What was your unsportsmanlike like for? Sorry? What was the unsportsmanlike uh, on your part? I, I, I did. I disagreed with the call. So okay. I was holding the iPad when I did it. So, you know, you're not supposed to show the iPad to the official, but because I was holding it, you threw it on there. But I didn't show it to him. So okay. I'm confused sometimes with some of the rules now. But here again, you know, that had nothing, you know, I appreciate you asking me. I was like trying to say that had nothing to do with the game. It was a well called game. We played, we didn't play nearly well. Yeah, real quick, though, about Dylan. How, how did you assess his performance today? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I have to watch the tape to see, right. you know, where things were. Um, you know, I just think with young, talented quarterbacks like that, um, that's that's stunk today, right? Like in terms of being in that situation, but that that situation will pay off for him 
in so many ways. Because what I loved was they just kept wanting to go back out there. They just kept competing. And, um, you know, even that second to last drive, they move us down the field, we have the ball down to the five yard line, right? So um, that competitive spirit, that grit, that's, that's what you want from your quarterback. A lot of, a lot of those quarterbacks, especially with you know, five star kids, you know, nothing's ever been hard for them. That was hard today, you know, and, and Ja'Cory kept going out there, he kept going out there, and so um, we'll, we'll take this one, you know, we'll, 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 we'll let it hurt, you know, we won't say much, I hope. <laughs> we'll just, uh, we'll go back home, we'll wake up tomorrow, and we'll get to work on next week, because no matter what the score is, it was just, you know, we lost, right? Whether you lose in overtime or you lose by the score, we lost by a day, it's, it's just a loss. It's a bad loss, and again, I apologize for that loss. I apologize to people who spent their time and money to come watch that. But, um, Again, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed of our guys. I'm, I'm proud of our guys, and uh, I know the work that they put in. I know the sacrifices they made. They'll do it again this week. But I thought that was important for Dylan. Big picture on how he played. You know, obviously, I have, I have to watch this. He'll, you know, even the one pick six, like, it's really not on him. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's counting on a lot of other people. And uh, if it's not quite perfect at the quarterback position, you know, it's hard. And so we'll, we'll get a little better next week. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.